once again, Internet. It's me, Carmen, coming right back at you. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you all a little walking tour of downtown Elizabeth City. Behind me is Mariner's Wharf Park in the distance. If you walk down a little bit ways behind there, I'm going to be showing you all Mariner's Wharf Park and showing you all downtown Elizabeth City. Just kind of walking through the city, having a good time. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I just figured I'd give y'all a little sneak peek before we start the video. So as you can see here, I have Elizabeth City up on the map. And we're going to be walking today in the downtown area of Elizabeth City. So we're going to be starting out down here past the waterfront park over here at Mariner's Wharf Park. Walking down Water Street, going around. And we're actually going to be going down Colonial Avenue a little bit before turning back around, kind of exploring some of the businesses and what's going on through here. Walk a little bit down the street, down Main Street, and then to top it off, we're going to go down Road Street, and we're going to end our video right here at the intersection of Road Street and Grice. Not quite a full circle, but give you all a little preview of the town. But yeah, I basically just wanted to highlight that geography there and give you all a little taste of what's to come in this video. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm here at Mariner's Wharf Park in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. You have a dock here where boats can dock, and I believe you can stay up to two days, 48 hours. Y'all can correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. I'll put a correction in the video somewhere if so. Mariner's Wharf Park. Wilds Raid, first major campaign in North Carolina conducted by U.S. Colored Troops, December 1863. Freed thousands of enslaved in the area. You got a little map here of downtown Elizabeth City. You can see here, this is actually a good visual. I like this and I think this may have been very recently installed because I don't recall seeing this sign here before so that's pretty cool. I could be wrong on that but I think, I believe that's true. And I'll show you real quick. So you've got Elizabeth Street up here and then you've got Water Street coming down this way. We're right about right here. And you've got Herring House where you have a lot of the businesses, fast food and grocery stores, things of that nature. You have the Museum of the Albemarle. You have the Waterfront Park, which is going that way past those buildings. You have some other parks over here, Dog Corner, Charles Creek, Coast Guard Park. That's the bridge to Camden, the Outer Banks. If you're looking right here, you can see the map in its entirety. You can see a different like uh, dining and drinking they have a whole directory here of different numbers corresponding to different businesses. So I think that's pretty interesting. They have some tourist pamphlets here. As you can see, you've got you've got Currituck Outer Banks, Camden County, Elizabeth City, walking down the street here. This is Water Street, by the way, if y'all are wondering. And this is the park we're highlighting. Once again, Mariner's Wharf Park in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. We're out here. Got some trees over there. Looks mighty nice out here today. Today's kind of a nice day to be out. I apologize if I'm talking over the sound of the cars. Wright Brothers in the Albemarle. This was the first of many trips made by Wilbur and Orville Wright from Elizabeth City to Kitty Hawk. You can see right here a historical photograph. I engaged passage with the Israel Perry on his flat bottom schooner fishing boat. The Curlicle. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Let me know in the comments below what I am pronouncing wrong or incorrectly. Maybe I'll put a correction in the video. Taking a deep breath, the Museum of the Albemarle, that large building in the distance of the green rooftop that's uh, quite protruding. And got one water station right here. I'm just walking around, kind of walking in a circle. Well, not quite a circle. I'm going to probably walk around to some more destinations here in the downtown area. I wanted to show you the little other side when you're walking down the street entrance to Mariner's Wharf. Mariner's Wharf. Culpepper's Rebellion. Culpepper and Durant left, led a revolt against British trade laws, seized the government 1677. You have the 
park right here in its entirety. You have a little, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of the park or not, and I feel like it, I'm not gonna cross over right this moment in time. And there's no sign saying not to, but I just don't feel like messing with it at the moment. Man, Ben done it. For a second I thought it was referring to Maine, like it was something to do with Maine the state. And I read it out loud, I'm like, oh wait, never mind. Yep, it was 48 hours, it says on the sign, the Harbor of Hospitality, 48 hour complimentary dockage. So if you dock your boat here, you can stay for up to 48 hours, complimentary. I assume that means free of charge. Harbor Thoughts. Please leave your positive thoughts, reflections, and suggestions by Elizabeth City. Tank River right here. Got a little parking lot, some benches, plenty of place to park if you're coming from out of town, but you also have a pretty walkable downtown area so you can get off the main path right there. You have Water Street, you have some buildings right here, and I believe Virginia Dare condominiums or Virginia Dare building. I can't remember if that's the exact name of it. I'll put a correction in the video somewhere in text if not. Viking Pride, these signs showing support for Elizabeth City State University, Elizabeth City's local university. I just wanted to stop and take a second to talk about Elizabeth City State University, Elizabeth City's local university. The Viking is the mascot of Elizabeth City State University, which is a historically black university founded in 1891 in Elizabeth City and has an enrollment of about 2,149 as of fall 2022. Right down the street from here, if you go down a little ways there, you can get down to Elizabeth City State University. We're in downtown, so it's a little farther from here. Still walking down Water Street here in downtown Elizabeth City, as you can see, some of the older buildings. I'm just giving y'all kind of a preview today. I'll probably do some sort of more full featured video here when I've done more research and I have more knowledge to present. Today I'm giving you all a view of downtown Elizabeth City, giving y'all the sights and the sounds. As you can see here, some of the shops, Harbor Pharmacy here. You can see the building with the blue, the blue roof that's uh, the Kraken Coffee House. We have some other businesses. You can see the Museum of the Albemarle down there. And basically the Museum of the Albemarle talks about like Northeastern North Carolina, the history of this area. This area is considered the Albemarle. You have the Outer Banks and the Albemarle. Elizabeth City is kind of considered a central destination. Kind of like a trading point because you're on the Dismal Swamp Canal. And you have the Pasquotank River right here, so you have a waterway, and the canal starts right here. So basically, Elizabeth City historically is a center of commerce, even though it's not a super big town. I'd say that the entirety of Pasquotank County, where Elizabeth City stands, is about 40,000. Be careful before I cross the road. About 40,000 residents. Someone's laying me across, giving them the wave. Things go better with Coke. I'm walking down East Colonial Avenue here in Elizabeth City. I'm here on the corner of Poindexter Street and East Colonial Avenue. You can see a mural right here. You can see the Elizabeth 
City. And this is actually Palin's Alley right here. I was mistaken. I had to step back a little bit from where I was at earlier. I was out over here. I was actually down there and I had to step over here because I didn't want to give incorrect information. I figured it'd be a good opportunity to educate myself and to educate y'all. A little historical placard right here. I'd shown us Walking down Palin's Alley right here, you've got two businesses. You've got Ghost Harbor. You've got Hoff and John's right here. I don't know. This feels kind of like a weird spot to be in, but no one's telling me not to be here. Welcome to the Garden of the Earth. I might be getting Ghost Harbor. So you see that right there, but I thought the location was back there. I think I'm getting mixed up. Don't mind me, y'all. Um, yeah, I know. I know about where I'm at. I'm good. Wait, now that that one business has like another annex or something. What could be wrong there? Coasters downtown. businesses here that were behind Palin's Alley I think no I actually think well no I'm not getting confused because I don't think I saw the, the Japanese restaurant but I did see coasters Toyama I haven't been there before myself personally but it's there in the distance I'll show you all in a second I don't know it's funny why I said distance there okay. Island Breeze Grill Yama. Coasters, downtown Draught House. You've got a little mural here. Kind of the coastal feel. Marshland, swampland, wetland. I kind of always like the vibe. Mason's 98, the creator of this mural, which they've neatly incorporated into the power panels here. Mason 98. Let me see. I'll just step back for a second, give y'all another view of that. Always good to see some artwork. Always refreshing. I'm not exploring every square inch of downtown Elizabeth City and the greater city in this video, but more maybe to come in the future. I'm looking forward to doing more videos in this area and other parts of Northeastern North Carolina and going around in general and doing videos and going places and being passionate. And I like doing stuff like this. This is what it's all about, y'all. And just kind of finding my voice more. I know it's kind of sporadic. And that's kind of true that I haven't been doing videos for a while. And I don't want to claim I am perfect or that I am static. My interests are shifting slightly. I kind of have my base interests and in things I've liked my whole life. I think everyone, most people kind of have that, but I don't want to speak for everyone. Anyone can have a different way of looking at the world. I'm open to it. But just kind of finding my own voice here on YouTube and getting back into it, not holding myself too much to anything, but trying to be consistent, putting some good stuff out there, and just putting it out there, putting out my YouTube videos, and taking y'all along with me for a journey. My hair keeps blowing in my face. These tables are really cool looking right here. I'm in some sort of other alleyway. I think these may be part of a restaurant. Let's see, this one looks like a bridge. You've got, ooh, it has like a tiger right here. Tiger, you've got pirate. You've got, this is pretty cool. And I know how you would do this trick, but I don't know if that's how they did it. 
you could see where they paint, like, you use tape right here, like, like painter's tape, you can kind of segment it out. You've got like the beach here, which makes me think of the Outer Banks, and you've got kind of more of swamp wetlands, makes me think of Elizabeth City, Camden. You've got dogwoods, and you've got like farmland. Agri this area has a lot of agricultural history, agricultural roots, and you've got the water with a blimp here, like the city skyline. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be where that's supposed to be, or those. I think those are probably trees, not skyline. I was mistaken. We'll come back out here, back on to Poindexter Street. Highlighting Ives Alleyway here real quick. The wind noise was just kind of unbearable, so I just figured I'd record over that so that the video would be a little bit more peaceful. Sending y'all peace and love out there into the universe. Here on the corner of Main Street and Poindexter, you've got the Harbor Center. You've got some shops here. Let's keep walking on down. And I believe yep, this is Main Street right here. Welcome to the Arts of the Albemarle. We've got some businesses, different places, Water's Edge Boutique. It looks like there's some sort of downtown Elizabeth City's Pizza. I haven't heard of that before. I don't know if that's open or not. And you've got some businesses here. It's kind of Main Street area. We are open, come on in. Come on in, y'all. And I believe these road signs here are a more recent addition. I may be wrong on this, but I've noticed that, I've noticed these going up on the outskirts of town since I've came into this area. And it's just interesting direction signs. I've seen those in other places and you see them a lot in Hampton Roads in Virginia, like this sort of thing. Helpful to tourists, definitely. And it helps people find where they're going. And it's good to see that sort of uh, tourist oriented kind of uh, visitor oriented behavior maybe is the best wording to help welcome people into the community and bring a sense of hospitality and friendliness looking around still McMoran Street and Main Street we'll keep on walking down there's a federal courthouse here in Elizabeth City if a lot of people probably don't know that I don't know I could be wrong Sometimes it's just good to sit down and take a breather. Taking a turn off Main Street here and I'm gonna walk down this way. Just kind of uh, taking a little detour here. I think there's more things I could see down that direction. Actually, no, I'm going to go this way and I'll tell you why in just a second. I'm gonna go back down the street and actually walk this way. I'm turning around in a little U-turn. Here. I don't see any signs for a crosswalk here. Wait for some cars to go by. I'm going to show y'all the federal courthouse real quick of Elizabeth City. J. Herbert W. Small Federal Building and United States Courthouse. Right here in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. So if you could see that here, I just wanted to show this because I found it interesting that they have a federal courthouse here. It's not too surprising considering that Elizabeth City is kind of the center of the region, but it's just, in excuse me, it's interesting to think because there's a federal courthouse nearby in Norfolk, which is about an hour, hour and a half away, probably a little more than an hour. And I think uh, federal districts can't cross state lines. I could be wrong on that, and that's probably part of the reason why. But it's just interesting, but also Norfolk and Richmond, there's two federal courthouses as well. Just give y'all kind of a view of that. And that's here at the corner of Martin Luther King Drive and Main Street. You can see there, and you've got the courthouse right here. United States Courthouse. Where could this mythical crosswalk lead us? Walking down from the courthouse. On a stroll through Elizabeth City, you've got a little park here. It looks like I've never actually been to this uh, park here, Pool Street Park. I'm gonna cross the street and see what it's all about. Don't be a litter bug. 
don't leave your trash all over the ground. That is no prim and proper behaviour, sir. Pool Street Park. You've got, it just looks like a little small, kind of almost an alleyway area right here. Looks kind of like a small alleyway area right here. I'm going to walk down the street a little further from the park here and just check it out and maybe take an opportunity to circle back around. It looks like, uh, I'm going to show in a second. To the right of the federal courthouse and just across the street from Pool Street Park is the Pasquotank County Courthouse. And according to the sign, the placard, it says that it was put up in 1882. You can see that right there. I figured that would be important to highlight. You've got some Pasquotank County offices right here. I'm gonna keep walking down. I'm just gonna try to circle back around and give y'all a preview, a town divided. It looks like one of the Civil War placards. I'm not gonna stop and read it too much. Other than you have a little map here, it shows US 158 and US 17. Walking away from that, got the courthouse right there. Keep on walking walking down the street here in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. On the corner here of Main Street and Elliott Street. I might just... walking still here on Main Street just past Elliott Street got some older buildings right here on the right there's a lot of history here a lot of things to learn a lot of things to see well enough things to see got another coffee house right here muddy waters right here in the corner where this stoplight is if you see that building right there and this is all within walking distance of each other so I've been walking around downtown here in Elizabeth City. I'm gonna circle back around because I'm kind of starting to we get weary on walking and down that way. That would be going back towards Elizabeth Street once again. But I'm gonna walk this way because I feel like going this way. You've got the brick lined streets, or I don't know if that'd be considered cobblestone down here. Walking down the street here in Elizabeth City. This is Steering Street right there. If you look this way, that's going towards the river. And if you look that way, that's going towards the, I don't want to say not quite the outskirts of town, just more neighborhoods, more houses, and then eventually towards the outskirts of town. Or at least, I don't think it would end in the outskirts of town, but just heading towards that direction. Blue Ruby, Historic Bed and Breakfast. some sort right here. Brandon M. Peters Family Practice Medicine. I'm assuming this is historic. I'm pretty sure it is. Northeastern Family Medicine. Keep on walking here. I'm right here still walking down. This is Church Street and Road Street. Got a little stoplight right here. I'm gonna cross the street real quick. No one's coming. It's nice to be able to walk around, just take in the fresh air, see things, and show y'all again a little preview, a little scoop of the world, my little slice of the world, give y'all a little slice of the world, explore, go on some adventures. Behind me is the intersection of the road I was walking from. I was on Road Street going down that way. 
I'm just coming from Road Street and Airing House. Before I, think. I end the program, I have some extra content I want to share. If you guys would like to see, if you all would not like to see, then feel free to click out at this point. It's just talking more about Elizabeth City, going over the geographic information about the city, and just some extra tidbits and information that I think are important to know, but y'all don't have to watch. It's a pretty long video, and I've packed a lot in here. And this part of this is just some extra stuff that I cut from the beginning because I want to just go ahead and go show y'all the city. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoy, and either way, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. And right here, so pretty much this is the base of downtown, so we're going to be starting out in this area. Elizabeth City isn't a bad sized city. If you look it up on Wikipedia, Elizabeth City is about 18,000 people, and it's at the seat of the Pasquotank River. So if you look at our map, you have the Pasquotank River right here, and that keeps going and eventually turns into a dismal swamp canal, as you can see, and that just keeps on going up into Virginia and the Norfolk. But yeah, basically Elizabeth City is right in northeastern North Carolina. I had to think about that for a second. In the Albemarle region, it's about an hour from Virginia. You can see Virginia's right here. You're about an hour from the Outer Banks. So if you're going to like Kitty Hawk or anywhere else from here, it's about an hour. You can see 17 goes through Elizabeth City. And Elizabeth City has a lot of great history and storied culture of its own. I figured this might be a good point to end the vlog, to end the video. And to wrap it up, thank y'all so much for watching. This is the Museum of Albemarle behind me for those who have been watching. Just so y'all keep track, kind of a point of reference. Thank y'all for watching so much. If y'all like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Until next time, thank y'all for tuning in as always. And I appreciate it once again. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day ahead. Peace out, everyone.